Hi, I'm Gary Byers. I'm the co-director of the Shiloh Excavation in Israel. And we are in season four and we're having a great time and we are finding really cool stuff. Features are things like walls that we can't move. We, we wouldn't want to move. So we find a, a something in the ground that's supposed to stay there. We call that a feature. But artifacts are things that we find ancient things that go with the walls. We take the artifacts away, we leave the features in the ground. And so this is a tag in the bag for the artifact, and it says it's a sling stone. Now you remember David took five smooth stones from a brook, and with one of them took out Goliath. This is not such a smooth stone from a brook. This was used by soldiers a GI sling stone. This is what they were like, as opposed to a five smooth stones coming out of a brook of water. So this is an artifact, man-made tool or weapon. This could easily be used at the house in the kitchen. And there's, there's some sort of edges that here that really feel like it might have used it for something. So it could have been a pounder. But when somebody's attacking my city, I'm going after them with everything, but the kitchen sink. And of course they didn't have one of those either. I am the great Goliath. I have a massive spear. I kill stuff. Oh, that's right. And you, you trust in your God. Well, I trust in my power of my might and my sword. You are going to be fed to the dogs. You come with sword and spear, but I come with the name of Florida Pops. So every day we, we analyze these. And so we have what we call it is, we, we say we read pottery and we read objects. That's the term archeologists use. They will be uh, analyzed. Uh, this one, we've already got a, 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 a measurement dimension. We will put it on a scale and weigh it. And ultimately this will be given a number that will go on a, a, a card that will be kept, but also it will actually be put right here on the stone, and we will forever, we will forever know it is number 143. My wife and I just started thinking and dreaming about what would it be like to take our kids on a trip like this, to be able to come and uh, see where the Bible happened, be able to dig the Bible, taste it, breathe it. I mean, it's in our face here. We're finding stuff from the time period. Uh, and so that was just kind of a bucket list thing that we put a priority on and uh, the Lord provided. And so Eden and I are here doing it. So that's, that's kind of some of the thrust behind my story and how we got here. Uh, I'm told I'm the oldest person on this, uh, on this dig. I'm actually 77, although I don't look that, of course, but I, I am 77 and the oldest people. So they have me doing lighter, lighter duties such as uh, sifting here. Not, not that that's real light. It's still a lot of lifting, but I don't have to lift the big boulders and things. Well, this is a lifelong dream to be a part of an archaeological dig since I was a young girl, and uh, I wanted to be particularly a part of ABR's research uh, with Shiloh because I saw how extensive and particular um, uh, Scott was in uh, finding the, the tabernacle, the Holy of Holies, and uh, I just wanted to be on board to be a part of it. I think it's uh, very special. And for my first experience, you know, I, I really wanted to learn as much as I possibly could.
Okay, well, hey, I'm thrilled about our first three days of season four. We have cleared a lot of debris. We're in a good archeological context in multiple squares, everything from middle bronze to late bronze, Iron Age one, Iron Age two, late second temple period uh, material. Our large monumental building, we're gonna find out tomorrow if we have the corner where we think it is. And so we've been working very hard on that. We're excited about the visitors that we've been having and dignitaries coming by in the next uh, couple of days will be sort of media day. A lot of folks on, on site uh, to work with us and see what's happening at ancient Shiloh. But as the director, I couldn't be more happy.